Although alcohol is mass produced, mass promoted, legal, widely socially accepted and drank by absolutely millions of people all over the world, most people don't ever consider or understand the spiritual consequences of drinking alcohol. Let's have a look at the etymology of the word alcohol to start with. This means getting to the root of the word and where that word is derived from, where it originates from. The word alcohol comes from the Arabic al kul which means body eating spirit and gives root of origins to the English term for ghoul. In Middle Eastern folklore, a ghoul is an evil demon thought to eat human bodies either as stolen corpses or as children. There is an explained vision in the book called Man's Eternal Quest. This is by Parama Anza Yogananda. In this vision, he was transported as an observer above a popular bar and nightclub, above the venue where a variety of ghoul-like entities inside the bar. There were people drinking alcohol, they were socialising, dancing and doing what you usually do in one of these venues. He watched as certain people started to become very drunk. He saw their souls, while connected through a thread, exit the body. He understood that the soul was leaving the body because of the great discomfort of being in a body highly intoxicated with alcohol. When the soul exited the body, other non-belevolent entities entered or latched onto the vacant shells, your vessels. Once the entities took hold of the body, they used the body to play out all kinds of dark acts, such as violence, arguments, low-level sexual encounters, destructive behaviours, rape and even more. Possession can become more likely. When a person has a liking or a craving for alcohol, their very liking it is taken advantage of by darker energies. These darker energies can be that of a ghost or a departed ancestor who also has a craving for alcohol and you, they will, you will be possessed by them. Once the ghost or the darker entity possesses a person, it further increases that person's craving or that person's liking for alcohol. This in turn helps the darker entity or ghost to maintain control over the person and indulge in the enjoyment of drinking alcohol through you, through that vessel that comes through. By consuming alcohol into the body, it effecti effectively extracts your soul, allowing the body or vessel to become more susceptible to neighbouring entities, of which there are a very, very low frequency. This is why we call certain alcoholic beverages spirits. That is why people who consume excessive amounts of alcohol often black out, not remembering what happened. This happens because our soul, the one that we were sent here with, leaves the human vessel or leaves the living conditions because they are too polluted and too traumatic to tolerate. Your soul literally shoots out of the body staying connected by a cord and a dark energy or a dark entity ghost ancestor takes that that body takes that vessel for a joy ride if you think about your vessel as a car and that spirit will get into your car and take that car for a joy ride essentially when somebody goes dark after drinking alcohol or polluting themselves in many other ways, their body often becomes possessed by another entity. The picture is of two auras. On the right, you can see you've got a healthy aura as you look at the picture. And on the left, if you look, there's an aura that has been damaged, it's been traumatized. And because of the holes and the gaps, it's gonna make it really easy for any entities to possess that human vessel. While drinking alcohol, we are more likely to lose control over our mind and our intellect as well. Negative energies can take advantage of this loss of control and infiltrate our consciousness. Even if a single social drink such as beer is consumed, it's enough to reduce your, vibra your vibration, your frequency. 
in the person that is drinking it and increase the likelihood of acting from lower chakra energies making you more prone to being attacked by negative entities. When negative energies possess a person, they are easily able to fulfil their desires by acting through them. Many terrible acts are done against family members, friends and society by people when they are drunk. Violent behaviour displayed by an alcoholic or any other addiction, um, drugs etc anything that you're addicted to is mainly due to the possessing entity taking advantage of and increasing an existing personality defect of violence in the alcoholic when people drink alcohol on a regular basis they increase the chances of being possessed from a spiritual perspective wine also falls into the same category as with any other alcoholic drink it's only marginally less dense than liquors such as whiskey or vodka. If a person dies without being able to overcome their attachment for alcohol or any other drugs, then in the afterlife too the craving continues. The only difference is that they don't have the physical body to desire to fulfill the desire for alcohol or drugs. Due to this, due to them being in a subtle body in the afterlife, they will then try to possess a person, somebody else, so that they can fulfill the desire through that person and then the vicious cycle continues. As part of our ascension process and our shift towards 5D and the golden age, we need to try and let go of these attachments of alcohol and any other habits or vices as everything that it's been said can apply to any other drug, any drug that changes your personality. So we need to get rid of those before we die, before we move towards um, death, so that we are not ruled by our desire sensor in the subconscious mind after our death. So this is the spiritual consequences of what we do and what happens to us when we take alcohol and any other drug or substance that changes your personality and how it hinders and stops your ascension process and your spiritual growth, um, your psychic abilities, your ascension, basically. So I hope this helps you. Please leave your comments below. Tell me what you think. Um, tell me what other things you've heard or you know about in the ways that it can affect our spirituality. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I love you loads. I will speak to you soon. Bye.